Hello, friends. I'm your host, Dave Layton, and welcome to the podcast, Walking with Our Master, an outreach of the Prattle Church of Christ, designed to inform, encourage, and teach as daily we walk with our Master. In the United States, we celebrate Thanksgiving each fourth Thursday in November. I didn't know it before, but it is also celebrated in several other countries in different ways. For example, Canadians celebrate their Thanksgiving on the second Monday in October. We know the story usually associated with our American Thanksgiving holiday. It's believed to harken back to 1621, when the early settlers of North America survived difficult times, and they wanted to express thanks to God. Of all the holidays on our calendar, this is my favorite for several reasons. I like watching football so there are usually some good games on the television. And I like to eat, so I can expect some really good meals before and during the holiday. And of course, there are usually plenty of leftovers. But most of all, it's an opportunity to be with family and friends. Even those without family with them can usually find a way to get together with someone. Well, in this episode, I want to look at the two words of thanksgiving and draw some insights into how they show us how to walk with the Master. Thankfulness and giving are directly tied to each other. It's natural that these two words are often used together beyond the name of my favorite holiday. It's our natural reaction when someone gives something or is kind and courteous we react by expressing thanks. When someone performs a service for us, we express thanks. We're thankful for courtesy and politeness. We express thankfulness to God for His grace and blessings in our life. So you understand that being thankful is part of how we react. Of course, God is the ultimate example of giving. He gave us creation. Oh, and by the way, I'm often very appreciative that not only did God give us a wonderful creation, but He also gave us the ability to appreciate it. God gave us life. He gives us forgiveness through Jesus. He also gives us a rich and full life when we obey His will. Doing His will is our natural demonstration of our thankfulness for all He has done and continues to do for us. Exploring the concept a bit further, another way we express thankfulness is by giving. Giving causes a positive response in our relationships. Thankfulness is a common theme throughout Scripture. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18, Paul teaches us to give thanks in all circumstances. It should be a way of thinking and living for those who are walking with the Master. Thankfulness is tied directly to giving. We often use the concept of giving in the same breath as thanking. We give thanks. A lot of times people think of giving money. And if one can do so, there's certainly nothing wrong with that. But there are so many ways we give. We give our time. We give our love. We give encouragement, just to name a few. And these forms of giving are incredibly important more so perhaps than giving of our physical means. To give means to transfer something to someone. In the context of this discussion, we give physically and we give emotionally. It's an expression of our gratitude, and it can express our commitment as we give our allegiance and love. For those who follow our Lord, giving is a part of who we are. We see God our Father as a benevolent God, We see His Son Jesus as a giving Savior. We see God's Spirit as a giving force in our life. As we realize this, we grow spiritually. We, too, become giving people. As we've already said, we give time, resources, and encouragement. 
but we also give hope as we share our Lord. And underscoring all of this is giving thanks for the opportunity to glorify God through our thankfulness. We can't help but be giving people because we realize how much God has given to us. An interesting paradox occurs when we give. When we give, we gain. Jesus said if we give up our life for him, we gain it. That's in Matthew chapter 10, verse 39. In Luke chapter 6, verse 38, Jesus taught about how we cannot possibly outgive God. He talks about how when we give, it's returned to us overflowingly. Now, some try to use this as some kind of a spiritual investment plan. Well, that's not the correct way to look at it. God rewards us with spiritual blessings beyond our ability to imagine. Jesus told us to lay up treasures in heaven because they last forever. We give by sharing our blessings with others. That's an outflow of the new heart that God has created in us. One of my favorite Old Testament passages is found in Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. This is when God first made his promise to Abraham that he would bless him. In verse 2, he tells Abraham that he is blessing him so he can bless others. You see, when God blesses us, he does so because he loves us, but he also expects us to do something with it. So we use our blessings, physical and spiritual, to bless others. It's not only to bless others, but it's a form of thankfulness to God for our gifts. As believers and followers of Jesus, we become thankful and giving. We cannot help it if we realize the gifts of hope and life we have been given. And as we give, we express how we are walking with our Master. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving time, and remember through it all to thank God for the love He has for us and for the opportunities to express our love and appreciation as we give glory to Him and blessings to others. Well, friends, I'm your host, Dave Layton, and thank you for joining us in this podcast. I hope you'll continue to do so. If you wish to share with me something from your walk with our Master, or you would like to learn more, please email me at walkingwithourmaster at gmail.com. That's walkingwithourmaster at gmail.com. I invite you to follow our podcast and share it with others, as together we walk with our Master. And until next time, remember, we give all glory to God the Father.